Okay, well, welcome everyone to our Eat to Conceive event. This is going to be the, the first of four preconception Q&A events in Hong Kong this year. And the first one tonight is focused on diet, supplementation, and food. And so we have our three nutrition experts here with us tonight. So first we have Paloma Gerber. She graduated from the Institute of Integrative Nutrition, and she is a plant-based nutrition expert. And we have Christina Tajos. Tajosis? Tajosis. <laughs> Gonzalez Tajosis. Yes. yes. And Christina is a holistic, a Canadian-trained holistic nutritionist. Yes. And a mother of two. And she's the owner of Thrive Nutrition Practice. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Welcome. And then we have Ms. Tatiana Kuverdina. And she is an eating, eating behavior specialist and a transformational health coach, life coach. Health coach. Health yeah. coach. Can you share some foods that support a healthy menstrual cycle and fertility? It was kind of like two questions in one. Um, well, I, I think for um, a healthy menstrual cycle and uh, fertility foods, they are somewhat linked. And... Uh, we do want to um, focus on the health of our gut, um, and we can do that by uh, eating more whole foods. So anything that comes from the earth that's natural, like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts and seeds, beans. And we want to focus on increasing our fiber intake, um, because when we have more fiber in our systems, it can help to flush out the toxins and the extra hormones that have been built up. Um, the heavy metals, but when we have a lot of fiber, we also want to make sure to include water so that you, you move the fiber through your body or else it can lead to excess gas and constipation. Um, so fiber is essential for uh, general health um, and a healthy menstrual cycle and sperm and egg health. Also healthy fats are essential. Um, you can get them in the form of pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, which have are great sources of iron and zinc, and zinc, which is really important for men. Uh, um, almonds and sunflower seeds are excellent sources of vitamin E. Um, coconut oil is, um, your liver converts it directly into energy, so that's an excellent fat. Foods versus supplements. Where should we be getting our nutrition from? Mm -hmm. Well, look, I mean, honestly, I feel like if your diet is not solid and if you're not um, you know, using each meal as an opportunity to really um, you know, have a nutrient-rich diet, then there's no supplement in the world that will save you. Just because you're popping the best supplement in the market, it doesn't mean that um, you know, you're going to fix all your problems. So really, you know, work with a nutritionist, work with you know, your, your mom, work with anyone who uh, you know, will, will help you get your, get your diet in order and, and really um, max out uh, those opportunities to contribute to, to nutrition. Um, you know, our body is, our, our, I always like to tell people our gut is not a hose pipe for our waste, it's our second brain, so nourishing that um, and making sure that we're, you know, maximizing each opportunity is, is important in that respect. Can you share how behavior plays a role in fertility? Okay. Fertility, key to fertility is a good health. And key to good health is consistency with mm -hmm. our daily healthy habits, right? And daily healthy habits are built, it's our behavior, right? What it is, it's our behavior, it's what we do. So really understanding what is helping you to do your healthy habits and what is not healthy, helping you to do your healthy uh, daily habits is the key to creating this consistency in your life. And actually it's fantastic that I think if, if um, people never thought of kids, so many people would never think of eating healthier or just never think of changing their lifestyle. Thanks God, people want to have babies. <laughs> and some people, for some people, it's a starting point where they finally find a reason bigger than themselves to eat healthy. Because for so many of us, as adults, we 
don't think that we need to eat healthy like so many of us we kind of all oh, I've been doing you know unhealthy eating for so long give up on ourselves but when we want to have baby for so many of us it's a mind it's a th that point when we realize that okay we need to treat our body seriously we need to really uh, nourish our body in order our body to give us healthy baby so it's fantastic it's the, I, I love that some some people is the where they really change their relationships with themselves and with food so that's how it should be